Alrighty, hello guys, so I can be faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are going to go ahead and actually install our nuclear reactor into our nuclear submarine. Now obviously as you guys can see right here, uh, the submarine is looking a lot like a U-boat, but it isn't a U-boat. It is a made-up creation that we've built in the game, inspired by U-boats in terms of the way it looks. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to install the nuclear reactor inside, we're also going to go ahead and put a vertical stabilizer on the top of this. Uh, purely so that when we actually dive, we are stable underwater and we aren't getting rolled over by the one that's underneath. They're both going to do exactly the same thing. So, let's go ahead and uh, get that done, shall we? Today's video is going to be pretty slow. And when I say pretty slow, what I mean is uh, not very long. But anyway, uh, this is what we need. We're going to go ahead and grab this entire thing. Uh, and we're just going to whack it in because that's what we want to do. Uh, actually, we're not going to need this uh, this stuff on the top, to be honest. Uh, we will probably end up getting rid of that. But um, that's okay. Also, someone did say that in order to actually stop this from exploding, uh, like it did in the past... Uh, we could actually get rid of all these tanks again, and apparently one tank is the sweet spot anyway, so we'll probably end up just doing that. Uh, a bunch of you guys did actually come up with a different idea as well, but uh, I think we should actually just remove the tank, uh, and I think that'll be good for us. So go ahead and cut this, make sure we've got it all, in fact we do, and uh, go ahead and grab the submarine, there we go, and whack it in. Okay, so we got it at the right height, let's go ahead and drag it inwards a little bit, and it's very difficult to actually see what is going on here. It is extremely difficult to see what's even happening, but um, if I can, I need to figure it out. There we go. Uh, I think we actually need to paste it there. However, with the extra stuff we've got, it doesn't work, so we need to delete these things, and then re-grab it again, so um, that it works. <laughs> So that it works. No, don't cut it there. Paste it again. Merge this again. My bad. Uh, and we need to clear content. Grab this bit and then and then lower it down. So cut it. Move it down all the way into the right place, which is here. Paste it. Merge it. And we are good. All right. Awesome. That is in. All right. The nuclear reactor has been placed inside. All right. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to grab this thing. We're going to cut it. Uh, I didn't mean to cut it. Whoops. Uh, we're going to paste it in, there we go, on both sides, merge them, merge them, uh, and make sure that the rope is connected to here. Okay, awesome, that's all good. So, the nuclear reactor is actually inside, that is awesome. Um, yeah, that's it. Alright, very good. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and see what else we can do. So, what I'm thinking is we actually... Is this an air pocket right now? I think it is. This currently isn't though, so we're going to get rid of this for right now. Uh, and we're also going to get rid of a lot of weight on the bottom. There we go. We're going to make the weight go forwards. Uh, because the nuclear reactor is full of water. Uh, and it will be lowering the back down. So we'll go ahead and do that. Spawn it in. See what it sits like. Uh, and we should be good. Yeah, you see, this is a problem. They weigh a lot. Alright, so what I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to destroy this wall right here. It is not necessary to actually be in this thing, and there we go. That's very good. The rest of it is completely fine. Uh, I was thinking that maybe we could actually push this forwards uh, on the submarine so that it's a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit better uh, in terms of its buoyancy, but at the same time, I don't think we should. Uh, however, what might be a good idea is actually using these pivots. Now, obviously they provide buoyancy, which will allow the back end to actually come upwards, but we'll see. Alright, there we go. Yeah, you see, the back end has came upwards a little bit, which is very nice. Uh, we'll add a few more so that it's a little bit higher, and uh, that'll be great. Then we'll actually add the uh, vertical stabilizer, and that should allow us to drive a little bit better. So, let's get on with it. Alright, you know what? That's probably good enough for me, actually. So, the nuclear reactor is in. It is actually working in terms of it is on. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and automatically... Automagically, we need to give it some. Uh, we need to give it more power. So we're going to attach it straight onto there, uh, and that actually allows everything to go together properly and uh, to charge the batteries. Now, a few of you guys have mentioned that I should or uh, that I could use the nuclear reactor to straight up just power the uh, the submarine, uh, but that's not what I want to do. Also, someone did also mention uh, that we can actually run more than one turbine off of a um, steam boiler. So. 
We could actually extend this this way a little bit, and that would be pretty cool. However, uh, we're not going to do that just yet because reasons. But anyway, let's go ahead and delete all of these. We're going to go ahead and drop this down and put it into there. Okay, very good. Um, you know what? There's nothing actually stopping us from doing that, so maybe... I don't know. Let's see if this works. We'll grab this, and we'll grab the this. All right, cut it. Move it forwards a good chunk to... Uh, let's say, like, just here for now. There we go, paste that in. We'll grab one of these. All right, and we'll put that right there. Oh God, uh, right there. Okay, awesome. Uh, and that is actually fine. What does that attach to? So we can have steam coming from here all the way into this one, but should we do that? I don't know. No, you know what? For right now, we'll just leave it as is. That's okay. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this. We're gonna put it on the top as well as the bottom. Uh, and that is how we're gonna work because that does make a little bit of sense. There we go ahead and cut it, copy it, there we go, turn it around, and we'll whack it on right there. Whee! There we go, right about there, I think. Yes, I think that's about right. Okay, paste it there, very nice. Let's go ahead and uh, connect this up as well. We're going to use it with the right colors, obviously. Uh, this is all going to be the right color. Um... Alright, and that genuinely just goes straight into here. So we'll do that. There we go uh, We just need to paint all of this and then that'll be fine. All right, very good Boop. Um, Other side as well needs doing but that's okay. Let's go ahead and paint all of this And merge it together so merge this with this that is awesome uh, We then obviously need this paint to go on there so we'll do that and that is it. We'll leave it like that. Looks a little bit weird, not gonna lie, but um, I like it. I like it. Actually, let's change it, uh, the top bit, just for this. So, we'll go with this on that side. We'll go with this right here, and we'll have it come upwards, and that's how it'll work. Right there. Okay, no, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. There we go. Something like that. Totally good. There we go. Fantastic. Nice. So we've got the vertical stabilizer on the top, the bottom, we've got the horizontal stabilizers at the back, we've got the dive planes at the front, um, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and see if this um, works. We'll start driving it forwards, we'll turn it, and we'll see if it dives. Although we don't really have any, uh, we don't have any ballast tanks in order to make it dive, but we'll see. Alright, here we go, we can actually hear the nuclear reactor working, which is fantastic. Uh, and we're gonna start moving. Oh god, automatically rolls over, that's not the best. That's not the best. That is not very good. In fact, actually. Oh. 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 Alright, yeah, that's that's not not awful, but it's not very good either. Um, right, let's dive under. And we'll see if it turns better underneath the water. I can't even dive under. I can't actually dive. This sucks. We really need to get the buoyancy right here. It's it's just not right at all, actually. So um, what we'll do is we'll actually add a little bit more weight in the front, uh, literally in here. So we'll fill up this little area. Okay, we'll fill up this area. There. And we'll fill up this area. Alright, and then all of this. And all of this. And hopefully that is working to do something. We'll also fill this in. We'll do this as well. And we'll also put these on, so that that doesn't look so weird. There we go, one there, one there. And we'll do this at the back too, so one there. Delete this bit. There we go. Put that on. Awesome. Right, spawn it in. See what it looks like now. Should have a lot more weight at the front. But the nuclear reactor does weigh too much. <laughs> Apparently it weighs way too much. Because we can't sink. Oh god. Uh, right, so what I'm thinking then. Is we actually get rid of this. To make it better on us. We'll get a spawner. And we'll just whack this in the front. Like that. Uh, not gonna be diesel, it's gonna be water, but, um, fresh water, doesn't really matter. There we go, so it's heavy at the front. It's heavy at the back. We've got about the right amount at the front. There we go, we're pretty level. Cool. Alright, so obviously, uh, this thing tipping over is, is obviously not the best. Uh, so we do need to figure out a way of, uh, fixing that, for example. Um, actually, yeah, we really need a way of fixing that, to be honest. But we're gonna go ahead and try and dive under, if we can. There we go, we're going under. Awesome. Alright, as soon as we are under, we're going to go ahead and start trying to turn. And we'll see what it's like turning underwater. Oh god. 
Not the best. Not the best. Okay, we need to figure out all of this. Uh, but we have installed the nuclear reactor. We've gone ahead and we've made it so that it actually sits quite nicely in the water in terms of its uh, um, depth. There we go. Look, it looks pretty good. Uh, and it does naturally roll over to the right place every time as well. So we got it right. We just need to have a, a stability system in here that makes it a little bit better. Also, what is this doing? Look at it. It's wibbly wobbly. Why is it doing that? I don't know. But anyway, with the nuclear reactor in, that is literally all I wanted to do today. We've also fixed the nuclear reactor so it shouldn't actually blow up, which is awesome. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Sorry there wasn't very much today, but I ran out of time, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, that's awesome. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.